What's up guys, I'm Crash Power. I'm a fellow video gamer just like you that created a YouTube channel to make premium quality tutorials for us so you can get all the information you're looking for in one video and get back to playing. In this video, I'm going to give you tons of information and tips about Ying, one of the three new operators in the Rainbow Six Siege Operation Blood Orchard expansion. So drop a like on the video and be sure to turn on notifications. Click that little bell, whether you're on desktop or mobile, to make sure that you don't miss out on any video uploads or live streams when I go live. I would really appreciate it. <laughs> First, we're going to give you a general overview of the operator itself, and then we're going to get into the neat stuff you can do with its gadget. Ying is a two-speed, two-armor attacking operator. Choice of primary weapons include the T95 LMG with an 80-round drum-fed magazine or the 612 combat shotgun. It's a bullpup-style semi-automatic shotgun with a six-round cylinder cartridge. You can swap in and out. Why the reload speed is a little bit faster, you're going to be reloading a lot more frequently. She also has a choice between one of two gadgets, a smoke grenade or breaching charge. Candelas are softball-sized orbs that can be thrown like grenades. When they detonate, they shoot flash charges into the air, temporarily blinding anyone in the area. Her special glasses mean she can't be flashed by her own flashes. If you cook it before throwing it, you'll see these three lights activate. Each light represents one second longer before the candela will detonate. But that's not all. Just like her Spetsnaz comrade Fuse, Ying can place the candela on a breakable surface to shoot the flashes into the room on the other side. Or my favorite, shoot the flares into the room beneath you. Whenever you play with a new operator, you always want to be mindful of who you need to look out for on the other team. And in this case, Jaeger is definitely at the top of the list. Jaeger's Active Defense System, or ADS, can take out the Candela charges. How it takes out the Candelas? Greatly dependent upon how the Candela itself is deployed. If an ATS unit gets line of sight on the entire Candela, he just has to fire one shot and take it out. However, if you do a soft breach on a barricade or wall, there is no line of sight for the ADS to take out the Candela, and in turn will have to track those six individual flash charges within once it detonates. This could potentially take out every ADS Jager has on the map if they're all in one area with one blow. They just all have to be within proximity and have direct line of sight. Other than Jager, just be mindful for Bandit. If you see Bandit on the other side of the team, Watch out for barbed wire. Barbed wire can slightly slow down a candela. Any cordella device that comes into contact with electrified barbed wire is destroyed immediately. Mute signal jammers have no effect on the candela cluster flash. And here's why. Fuse's cluster charge has a remote detonator. There's a wireless signal that mute signal jammer interferes with. But the candela does not have that. It has a mechanical timer instead. So there's nothing for the signal jammer to interfere with. One word of caution, be sure to pay attention to how the wrist is turned when you're trying to tell the uh, grenade whether to roll on the floor or actually attach to a surface. Because if the lights are still pointing towards you, you're going to roll it. So nothing's worse than getting up in a building and actually bouncing it off the wall in your face. <laughs> but what if I accidentally hit R2 and didn't mean to do it? Can I cancel it? The only way I've been able to figure out how to cancel the grenades is to push it on the D-pad to call your camera. And this keeps it from being thrown. Otherwise, it looks like there's no undo. Just don't let go. To be honest, I at first didn't like this operator as much as I do now because, well, basically I didn't know all the neat stuff you could do with its gadget. I found myself rushing with the diffuser and Al Ying's hand and trying to get in there as fast as I can because you could just blind the heck out of everybody. The Ying shotgun is the same type of shotgun her counterpart has, except it doesn't have the integrated silencer, and I really haven't been happy with, with using it. Plus, the fact that this has an 80-round drum on it is a lot more reassuring. It, it, it balances out because it, it takes a ton of bullets to kill someone if you don't remember, like I never remember, to don't shoot like I'm in Call of Duty. Shoot for the head. If you look at this clip right here, you can see how long I kept shooting and shooting and shooting this guy trying to kill him. 
It's not the best example. It does have a single fire and three round burst alternative fire mode you could try out. But definitely the LMG is my way to go. I enjoy it. And the breach charge is a, is a no brainer. Give it a try. And if you don't have the season pass and you're debating on which one of the operators you're going to buy with your renown, check out some of my upcoming videos on the other two. Use those tips and tricks and see if that'll help you pick out which one you would like the best. I hope to talk to you next time. I'm Crash Power. Thanks for watching.